Hello parents, my name is Julie Wong. I am the Head of Admissions at ESF. Welcome to this video guide on how to apply for a place at an ESF Kindergarten. ESF Kindergartens offer two years of education, K-1 and K-2, after which our students will go on to year one at an ESF primary school as an all-through system. Children are considered based on their year of birth, January to December. In the next few minutes, we will cover the application time, points to note for filling out the online application form, and what happens after the form is completed. Let's get started. Application time. If you wish to apply for K-1 Place, always remember that the key time for applying is September in the year that your child turns two. This application period is called Central Applications, and the deadline is 30th September. You will be using the form called Central Application Form. The Central Application process is not on a first-come, first-served basis. As long as your application is submitted by the deadline date, it does not matter if you apply on the 2nd or the 20th of September, for example. Applications received after the deadline will still be accepted, but will be added behind those who applied during the September period. It is important to note that the ESF has a priority system to determine the order of the applicants. For each application submitted before the deadline, the computer assigns a unique random number within each priority category, which will determine the order of processing. To understand more about the priority categories, please visit the ESF website. All other times for admissions to K1 or K2 is called general applications. There is no deadline. You will be using the application form called general application form. Applications are processed according to priority order and the date of submission. Gain a priority to fast track. For parents wanting to gain a higher admissions priority, you may consider the Class A Kindergarten debenture, which is only available for K-1 Central applications. The scheme opens in September every year during the Central application period. Details on the scheme and application form are found on our website. Next, my colleague Francis, team leader for the kindergarten section, will highlight a few key points to note when filling out the online application form. Points to note for filling out the online application form. Starting the application. Please allow yourself approximately 30 to 45 minutes to complete the application. Before you start, please check the list of supporting documents from the ESF website and have them ready on your computer. Don't worry if you need more time to prepare some of the documents. You may submit the online application first and send any supporting documents to us within the next seven days by logging into the online admission system. Please also have your credit card or your PayPal account ready because you will be asked to make an online payment at the end of the application process. And note that you can only submit one application for your child. Choosing Kindergartens in your application, parents may choose a maximum of four kindergartens on your form, according to your preference. Only add more than one kindergarten if you're prepared to send your child to either of that kindergarten, such as after considering transportation issues to get your child to school. Parents must know that we will place your application on the waitlist of one kindergarten only, which you have chosen as your first choice. Filling in personal details. In the application, your child's name should be exactly the same as that in the supporting documents. The residential address proof is required, as this information is necessary for student records. Completing the application. Once you have submitted your online application form, the system will provide you with the application reference number. It is important to quote this reference number in all correspondence relating to your child's application. And if offered a place to access your enrollment contract and pay the deposit to accept the place. The final step to complete the application is to pay the online application fee, which parents pay using a credit card or through PayPal. When every step is completed, you will receive a system generated email confirming your application is received. Now that you have fully completed the online application, 
Julie will cover the next steps. What happens next? Invitation to play visits. When places are available at our kindergartens, we will start inviting families to attend a play visit until places are filled. For K-1 applications received during September, parents may receive the invitation around the month of November. Due to the limited number of places in each kindergarten, not all applicants will be invited. The order of this will be determined first by the priority order and then the computer-generated random number given to each application. We have approximately 800 places across our kindergartens. If there are places available after the first round play visits, we may invite more applicants for further rounds of play visits. All other applications made outside of the September period, whether they are for K-1 or K-2, will be waitlisted according to priority order and the time of their application. Our kindergartens will take mid-year admissions into K-1 and K-2 if there are vacant places. Play visit. The play visit is held at the kindergarten in groups of between six to eight children. Both parents and child are invited to attend a one-hour session. Parents have the opportunity to see the kindergarten setting, meet the principal and staff, and ask questions. Our kindergarten staff will observe your child whilst they play. However, if the play visit is not possible, you will be asked to provide a video of your child and for you to attend a Zoom meeting to replace the play visit. Acceptance of offer. Upon successful play visits, applicants will receive an offer of a kindergarten place. Parents will need to pay the 7,000 debenture to accept the offer. We will try to allocate AM or PM sessions according to the parent's preference. However, it will depend on admissions priorities and availability. There is no guarantee of an AM place. Applicants who are not invited to a play visit. If your child's application is not selected for K-1 play visit, it will be carried over onto the K-2 waitlist for the following school year. There is no cost for the application to roll over to the next academic year list. Please note that the kindergarten waitlist will not carry over onto primary schools, and hence K-2 applicants will need to reapply during September in the year before starting primary year one through the central applications. Research. Before you make your kindergarten selection and submit the application, we strongly advise parents to do more research by visiting the campus videos located on the school's website and on our YouTube channel to get an overview of the kindergartens. We also have webinars and school fairs where you can talk to our colleagues directly. We hope this video has helped you understand how to apply for a place at the ESF kindergarten. If you wish to speak to our colleagues for any questions about our schools or the admissions process, please make use of the inquiry form on our website or contact us. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to welcoming your child into one of our ESF schools in the near future.